Hello everyone, I'm back and this time I have two powerful packs boxes that I need to show. Um disclaimer, excuse the background noise. It's my mom and her douchebag. But um yeah. I have um one from July and one from this month for September, which I just got today. I was unable to get August, but from what I saw on Instagram, it was like the Windsor Newton Cotman um, water colors in the, not the tube, is it like pan, I, I don't know what size, what else, pan or something, and it's a travel size with a few other water color stuff, which I was okay not be able to get, because uh, I have the tubes and a few other things. Um, let me see. Yeah, so it's been about a month. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I need a better mic. But, um, so, oh, sorry if I'm moving around. So, I'm going to start with these, and then I have to make another video updating, um, how graphic design 101 in my watercolor class went over the summer um, and then within that same video or a separate video I have gotten some supplies for my um, drawing fundamentals class which ironically some of them are in here but yes let us get started so um, first things first we have, this is July. I know someone's going to be like, why are you doing July all late? Look, I got another job. I had to get accustomed to it. I'm still on like probation a bit because last month I left um, cycles for DB. And it's a bit better. It's close to my house, pays a little more. I even got better hours as a part-time. And they um, seem to be well-liked. Um, yeah. So... <clears throat> there's that and also other family stuff so let's get on to this so for July is drawn everything so we got those sorry I'm trying not to get the glare on it hopefully you can read there's an Amsterdam set which are these guys right here and I believe I have my mixed media book somewhere which I use for swatches they came in a really funky box, which was basically, it fit all these in here, and then you had to open, but these were shown, and these were covered. So you had to open box a certain way to pull them all out individually. I accidentally tore the box, so that's why it's not there. <clears throat> and the colors you get with this, this is black, um, oxide black, primary yellow. Are they watching the almond? Probably so. Um, Phalo Blue. I apologize, I choose the best times to record. <laughs> and Pyro, or Pyro Red. So basically, they are acrylic markers, acrylic paint markers. <clears throat> I don't know where I put my book at. So I'm going to do some of the swatches on here. So as usual, I'm using Blix to look up everything, unless it's not on a site. So be mindful, in-store or online differs, and also each store differs as well. So this set is usually listed as $25, and this is the introductory set. And that's like the list price, so sales and anything will vary from place to place. So what do you do is they give you directions very clear directions they will all focus so at least I have tried them before I realized I didn't so it's gonna look like this I'm trying darn I need something a little heavier <laughs> looks like we're gonna go on my leg real quick so I do apologize. So 
but I'm supposed to supposed to pump them a little bit, get the color down, and then put on the desired surface you want. It's supposed to dry really quick. <clears throat> Sorry if you saw a bit of my leg. It's supposed to dry very quick, quick, quick. Hey, I had gotten some on my hands, and they were easy to get off. So it was drying a little bit. And I'm going to test each one. That way you'll see what each one will look like. Ah, damn it. Sorry. Like, I have not used these yet. I really want to. I need to get me another Mix Me a book or something. That's okay with acrylic markers. I think acrylic paper. <gasps> no! <laughs> Damn it! Is that getting on my hand? Uh, just a little bit. Like, this does, like, come off with soap and water. So it's not permanent. I just don't like spilling stuff on my hand. So I gotta be careful because I've had that flipping my pens too. I'm bored or thinking too much. There's that. Like it. <clears throat> So they come out nicely. So if you see me just moving around a little too much for you like it, I'm sorry. I'm trying to test these as much as I can. These are easy to open with one hand and close with one hand if you're able to. So oh darn it, wrong side. So These, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with. I have a few ideas. <clears throat> now, the next marker I have, well, paint marker. It's by Liquitex. And this is Burnt Umber. This is their 4mm. Uh, where did I put it? The 4mm. And... Well, it's between 2 to 4 mm. Let me emphasize that. Where is it? Between, come on, focus, 2 to 4 mm. And um, Blix is only listed 2 two, 2 or 15, so I picked 2. And this is you listed at $6.99. So, uh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm like freaking hitting myself with the markers today. I'm so thankful the markers I did up uh, when I did this video and I freaking f forgot it. It wasn't good quality. I'll admit that up front. I tried my best. Now, <clears throat> this is supposed to dry as well. This is the one that markers I think is popular too. Easy to open, just be mindful and make sure the cap's down. This is war based acrylic too. Life as a permanent. I believe all of them's permanent. I think all these here are permanent. And there you go. Brilliant color, light fastness. Astrodam, I've heard about but I never tried before, so I probably won't try their other products later. So as you can see, the four colors are already dried. And so is and also, um, sorry, the top four dry, so it's the fifth one. So all of them dry really fast. Just be mindful if you get on, you know, you can just wash it off. Like from a distance, this don't look brown. But yeah, it's the same finger. How? So the way it is that. I choose very apt. Important times to record. So there's they got intruded color that now uh, we're gonna go to the boards. <clears throat> it all gave gave two stretch canvases, a four by four in black and an eight by ten in black by art alternatives. Um so oh crap, where I put let me move you up a little bit. The 4x4 four four is 529 and the 8x10 is 899 So they vary in sizes and things like that. 
Um, there was also a pencil case with this, which is, which will be shown in the um, supplies video because it has my other stuff in it. But the pencil case did come with this. Um, let me see if I can find what it is. Storage. Oh, there are storage sheets. Try to find the pencil cases. Here we go. Or pencil keeper. Either way, so the pencil keeper is four ninety nine. You'll see it when I have make the other video with my fundamental drawing fundamentals supplies. So next of these babies. These are popular. They're jelly roll pens. So a quick note. Recently Sakura has released three different firmers or pen pressures for their white because white is very popular and it's a matter of it's metallic or the glaze which I would recommend that if this doesn't work on very dark paper or black very dark or black paper their glaze one will work it's just a personal preference because it's that and uni um, ball that's popular so this is the eight then I think there was one I think point two zero two or zero five and there's a 10 so they're recent so check them out um these i believe is a dollar or something so i try to find it so these are usually a dollar 49 i'm sorry these are a dollar 49 so we got a white one and a black one and oh come on I don't forget something. Oh, before I do, let me do the swatches first. I'm sorry. So there's, if I can get, that's how opaque it is. Like I know a lot of people use it for their highlights and various uses. Like I said, that's none of. There's a glaze version that's very nice, and the black. The jelly rolls I was iffy with, so I'm sorry if you are seeing my leg again. So I'm gonna put it on the lightest one, which is this one. So there we go. But yeah, because I know black and white are in glaze form too. So there's those swatches of those. Then I forgot one more thing. Stupid me, forgot one more thing. From also from Art Alternatives, we have canvas panel. They're all cotton. This is a five by seven, which is a dollar seventy nine. I do apologize if I see my over place just came from work. Um, yeah. So last but not least is the Stabilo Right Fall Pen. Like this was a bitch to find. This was an on Blix, and uh, you have to like do a general Google search to find it. You would think Staples would have them, but they have the Pin 88 or the 88 Pin series, which I think is their popular series. And this one's a permanent one too. And once I had it, which was in the pack, is the MaryArtist.com, and this is listed as a dollar ninety-five, which I assume is the standard price. But let me show you how it hey, 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 get back up there. It looks but yeah, that's all of the things that I got for July, which I'm actually impressed with. Which I need to practice on with. So yeah, there's the swatches for those. And I think they look very nice. And that's their little let them know what you're creating a post. Because they do have an Instagram. So follow them if you have Instagram. Now, we're going to go to this month's box. And what I think what makes me happy is that there's like a little suggestion. I usually don't have suggestions. I usually forget I'm horrible. But someone... Or a couple of people, I'm gonna move these out the way, have made the awesome suggestions 
of tell them how much each set each price each set each item in the box is which they add up the retail price depending where they got from and gave you a value that is awesome there is no complaints from me I am very happy because this now makes it easier so instead of like you find going out and finding the items they listen to just like hey you know how much this is and they give you at least a good idea where it will be like I said before in-store online prices differ and then this is awesome too think there was another suggestion because there's another box or two that does this they'll have an artist and they list what they do with the item products I think our snacks are one of them but yeah this is cool so it's per irony too because I brought like two charcoal pencils I did not like these when I got from Mason Moore so I got rid of them and a few things as well the first up is the Stumpson Tortillions by Art Tarantus the 10 pack is very sizes it is useful it's not only for chocolate but for almost anything you use it for pastel I believe too make sure variety you have a variety of sizes or select size that's like popular and this set is a $5.99 so I'll Oh, okay, so pastel, chocolate, graphite, or other dry media. Sorry for the pause, and we're back. So, there's that, like, I got tortillions or something from Ace More. Total shit, I didn't like it, so I take it that I have to try to get used to them. But I'd rather use tissues, but eh, I'm going to try these. And the next one is this. Primo. This is by General? This is Euroblend. I'm Choco okay, Care. I've heard of it, but I'm not sure how it works. Because, like, I brought two charcoal pencils, but that's just for the class. But I don't have to wipe one. So we'll see how this goes. I think I have a Factus eraser and a little General eraser. So for that one, it's. Where are you? Damn it, I can't read today. <laughs> I'm sorry. $7.69. So there's that. Because I thought about getting my charcoal pencils for my class in a set, but I decided against it. So I'm going to try this. Now, I have these already, but you can never have enough graphite, graphic pencils. I said graphite. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, graphite pencils. Because what made me mad and pissed is I somehow lost my 4H pencil. I don't know how. I don't know why. I know I was using it and then bam, it was gone. So if it's not in my book bag or in my room, I have this baby right here. Because I was going to buy an extra 4H graphite pencil. Because I have the lawn set, but I'll use this if I need it. And that set is $22.99. That sounds about right. These are the medium graphite pencils. Cause the, I have like the larger set. For some reason, they re, it repeated two uh, of the firmnesses. It was like I think a 24 set, I think. Two of the firmnesses, which I'm like, unless they're popular, that's why it got repeated. But, but yeah, I have those. Like I'm debating if I even get the extra, buy another 4 inch pencil or not. I'm mine because I want all of this together but I don't know so there's those then I've seen these at work I just thought these were specific for something else this is General's Dotting Pencil I never heard of, I heard of them but never used them personally and let's see let's see it's smooth thick core extra soft 2B graphite lid they're they're they are great for sketching layouts drawing shading highlighting and detailing because i know some people that i helped with find these pencils use it for i think mainly layouts and i'm trying to think what they 
I know they're between either design and or architect students. Oh, and that, this pencil is 79 cents. So it's like this box has stuff I was thinking of trying and then gave me a little extra so I don't have to buy more. Now this, this, see I have to try my Kante stuff. Kante Peri Nori, oh no Nori, Kante Arkant Peri Nor drawing pencil. Uh, let's see. Let's see, this is for drawing, sketching, and outlining, and it's two sixty nine. This company is not cheap either. So this is cool. So another thing which was interesting, I know they I know they made erasers, but I think they made them this big. And I and I know I needed one. So this is the Tombow Mono Eraser. Protect artwork and erase in detail with these quality precision erasers in a pen style holder. The erasers will not damage paper and are available in two shapes for a variety of erasing options. The eraser advances by clicking either clicking the other end of the pen style holder. And that is four forty nine. I have never seen these. Like the one Tom Bauer don't mind. I just don't like their the markers I had before. Did not like how it worked. So that was a no for me. Let's buy one. Not say no to trying their products. Because you don't like one thing doesn't mean you don't like the others. Wait, this looks cool. Oh, it comes out right at the end. See? That's awesome. And I need a cipher eraser like this. So that's awesome. The mono zero. They seem like they think they're getting around nicely in the states too. Now the last but least, and this has been on my list for the past couple of months. Some tone tan sketch paper. I love me Strathmore, but if there's other brands out there, I would not hesitate to try other brands. This is awesome. I cannot wait to use this. Because I was either do I need a large one, do I need a small one? But this is a five and a half by eight and a half fifty sheets. I can use it. So and then this one, sorry if I put that in there. And this one is $6.59. So all I get out of this September box is $51.23. So I'm glad, if glad other people was like, hey, can you add the retail price to this? And I see other people artwork using these products. So yes, that is September's box. Let me put September together. Like I have gotten extra stuff and a redemption type thing to see. I can never say no to extra graphite pencils. That is a sin. That's September. And this is July. I'm putting everything together. Try to put everything together. And like I said, I don't have August. I wasn't able to make the deadline, plus it was a repeat of stuff I already have. So, I hope you all enjoyed this nearly 24 minute video. I'm going to make another video with the supply of the music for my class and give updates. So, I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!